I read a lot of books this month and a lot of chunky books too. I'm very proud of myself. Hello, my name is Eve and welcome to my YouTube channel. Worst accent ever, I'm sorry. This month I read 12 books in total, which is a lot for me. Um, I had a great reading month. It was amazing. All the books, making sure. Most of the books I really loved and there was only one that was like, eh, it's okay. Let's just get started. First book of the month. I read Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series, so I can't say anything about it. All I can say is it was life-changing. It was amazing. I think I rated it 4.5 stars. Um, oh wait, hang on. I'm trying to remember which one this was. No, this one was five stars. This was my first five star in the Throne of Glass series. This book was absolutely incredible. It was so good. It finally felt like the story like came together and it felt, it just felt good. You know, it felt fun. I loved it so much. I am eating this series up. The next book I read was The Do Over by Lynn Painter. Um, I read this obviously because of Valentine's Day. This book, I'm having a hard time remembering what these books are about. I feel like it was forever ago. But basically, this girl catches her boyfriend cheating on her on Valentine's Day, and then she keeps reliving the day over and over and over and trying to make it the perfect Valentine's Day. And then she meets this guy, cause she, okay. She gets in a car accident every single day and she hits the same truck every day and it's the guy obviously who she's gonna have a romance with but yeah i thought it was super cute perfect for valentine's day and i rated it like four stars the next one i read oh man so good <laughs> this is iron flame by rebecca yaros and this is a huge book and i've been putting it off since december when i first started it i only got like 50 pages in when i first started it I didn't read this for so long because there were so many negative reviews on it saying it was disappointing and that it was like too much like the first book, it was like monotonous and I finally just decided to pick it up and read it and I had the best time ever with it. It just gave me the same feelings as the first Fourth Wing which everyone knows is like my, my second favorite book of all time and so it just gave me the same feelings. I loved literally everything about it i had so much fun with this Ugh. i love this series the next two i read were in the shatter me series and so i finished unite me with reading the second novella and it fracture me and then i went on to read ignite me um did i say ignite me for this unite me i don't know anyways they all have similar names but i think i rated this like 3.5 stars because this the pov and like ugh, you know but then this one i rated four stars i thought most of the time there was not a lot going on but then the last bit was super good and i'm interested to see what they do for the next few books uh because it was only supposed to be a trilogy so it was supposed to end with this but yeah um if you don't know what shadow me is it's about this girl who has a lethal touch and her whole life she's been shunned by society. Her parents hate her. She is sent to like this asylum and then she is taken out of the asylum and basically they're trying to use her to torture people. Anyways, it's crazy, it's good. I like it a lot. The next book I read was my mystery book of the month and that is The Agathas. This is by Kathleen Glasgow and Liz Lawson. I had such a fun time with this. Um, this is basically just like a murder mystery and the two there's like two POVs and it's like this one girl who used to be super popular and then she went missing for a while and then she comes back and she's not popular anymore. Now everybody hates her. And then there's another POV and it's like this outsider girl and she just has her like little group of friends and they what happens oh yeah um a girl goes missing and then winds up dead and so basically they are solving the crime and it was super fun and i rated this four stars and i am gonna read this sequel i think it's gonna be like a whole series but i'm not actually sure 
But yeah, I really liked that one. The next one I read was another mystery thriller and that is The Fury by Alex Michaelides. Uh, this was incredible. I rated this five stars. Anything this man writes, I will rate five stars, guaranteed. It was so fun. It takes place on a Greek island. A celebrity like hosts this getaway with like her closest friends and the, the plot is so elaborate, it's so fun, exciting, like, I read this so quick because I, I just realized I'm saying so, so many times. My bad, I don't have a wide vocabulary. But anyways, the plot was insane, the twists were insane. I love this so much. I feel like I would recommend this to anybody. It's Incredible. The next one I read was another romance and this is gonna be probably a new favorite romance of mine And that is picking peaches by Ansley B. Calloway uh, This book doesn't even have a lot of reviews on Goodreads. Let me check it out real quick So this has 4,000 ratings on Goodreads and this is basically about a girl who moves to this town. She is a um, freelance writer and she's offered this deal to ghost write a book. And so, yeah, she moves to the town and she like basically stays inside all day to write this book. But her neighbor, <laughs> who happens to be on a volleyball team, he used to be like in the Olympics for volleyball and then now he's retired and he just plays for fun. But he has this cute daughter and they like form a connection. It's so cute and precious i never knew i needed like single dad trope in my life but it is it's got to be one of my favorites now it was so cute and it does have some spice in it i just skipped over it and it didn't affect my reading experience at all so if you don't like spice i still would recommend it because it's so cute i loved it so much and then i don't know just the relationship between the, what is the main girl's name it's like, uh, oh, Georgia, which is why it's called Picking Peaches, because he calls her Peach. <gasps> Anyways, Georgia and the like the daughter have such a fun little connection and relationship, and I just really liked it, and it makes me want a kid so bad. The next one I read was another one that I've been putting off because of people's opinions, and I hate myself for it, and that is The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I loved this book, and I don't know what would make me think I wouldn't. Literally anything Jennifer Lynn Barnes has written, I've loved so much. I'm giving this one four stars. And basically it follows Grayson and Jameson. And it's like two completely different stories. It almost feels like two novellas just put into one book, which I really liked. And I couldn't tell, I don't know. I think I liked Jameson's story more because it was just so exciting. But Grayson is my favorite character. I love him. Um, but yeah, I loved this book so much and I just I'm like why do I keep letting other people's opinions dictate what I read you know but yeah I love this book the next book I finished actually my husband and I have been doing this and it is 40 days through the bible we've been working on this for months and it is literally a 40 day program um but it's really interesting it just chooses like different pieces of the Bible, like significant pieces, and you kind of do a deep dive into it. And it's not confusing at all. It's great for beginners, I would say. And it's just great if you have a significant other and you want to study the Bible with them. This is like perfect for it because you can just discuss your questions afterward. It was so much fun. I really liked it. Um, now I have to go to my phone. What else did I read? Okay. The next one I read is The Viscount Who Loved Me. This is by Julia Quinn. This is the second book in the Bridgerton series. And this was the one book this month that I was like, eh, it was okay. You know, I rated it three stars and I really enjoyed the first half probably. And then the last half, it was just, it was too spicy for me and I really love the TV show. I love the TV show of Bridgerton, but the book so far, I've just been like, eh, you know, I could do without them. Am I going to keep listening to the books because they're free on Audible? Yes, but yeah. Okay, the last book of the month, I actually haven't finished yet, but I only have like 50 pages left. 
and that is Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, another JLB. But I am loving it. It's really creepy. This one I like can't read at night because it freaks me out. But yeah, it's just like these kids who are in the naturals program with FBI, which just means they have a natural ability that is perfect for the FBI. And so they're just working on cases and stuff. This one is like the culmination of everything. It's like you're following this case a little bit through each book and this one is like that case. And it's so interesting. It has to do with like cults. So if you're not into that, I wouldn't recommend the natural series because there's a lot of cult talk. Um, but yeah, and then like, I don't know. It's just like freaky, but I really love it. I love this series so much. I still do have, uh, so I have 50 pages left in Bad Blood, but there is a novella after this. But that on Goodreads, it's, it's like two separate books, so I'm just counting it as separate. And so I'll finish the novella next month, but I'll finish Bad Blood this month. Thank you so much for watching. I had an incredible reading month. And I think I'm gonna have a really awesome reading month in March too. So if you wanna see what I read in March, go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.